Hey, welcome to another episode of Getting Real with Rob. This is a show that I take your questions and questions from people all around the world that want to better get to know who I am, what makes me come alive, what makes me tick, and to gain a deeper and more authentic uh, understanding and perspective of what makes the world go around for me and those in my sphere of influence. So now today's episode is going to be a little different than normal or a lot different. You never know with me, but I normally take questions from you. And today I'm just going to have a straight up heart to heart conversation as it relates to, you know, some interesting personal developments that have happened in my life that have certainly shaped me and are shaping me to become even that much more of a genuine human being, an effective leader. And uh, it's, you know, about, I don't know, a couple months ago, months ago, I got a word that uh, one of my best friends, uh, and I call him my partner in crime. We serve so much in life. We serve people in our sphere of influence to gra- together, a lot of cross-pollination as it relates to our sphere of influence. And, uh, and he said that he's moving uh, to a different state. And uh, yeah, so as you can imagine, someone that you're in the trenches with, I mean, he only lives five minutes away from where I live. And I find myself just hanging out with him, chat with him all the time. And we serve in, in so many different regards of people in our lives. We, we kind of co-lead, co-serve together. Um, yeah, so many different things. And so uh, when I found out the news, um, I was saddened. But my immediate response before even saddened hit me it was this. I knew, knew as difficult as it would be with him moving away, that there would be a, a level and a depth of opportunity in his absence as far as others that he has invested in, I've invested in, to be empowered uh, to live out what we like to call simple community life. And sometimes an absence of a person, uh, you know, actually provides a bit of people, an opportunity for people to step up to do things, to utilize their skill sets, gifts, and abilities to where they would never be able to otherwise unless that person was no longer here or here exactly in the same way. So that was my, yeah, I was just, as soon as he told me, hey, we're, we're seriously considering moving. That's where I went, the place in my heart, that's where I went first. But you know, I'm human like all of us, and as time set in, I was saddened and deeply saddened at times that I'm going to not lose a friend, he's still alive, I'm not having his memorial service, but things aren't gonna be the same. So I just wanna encourage you today as you're listening that if, if, you've lost somebody and it could be a physical loss of someone that's no longer here any longer on the earth that has deeply impacted you and you're grieving over or just a change in life. It could be a friend that has moved away like my friend. It could be the loss of a dream, a loss of a job opportunity, whatever the case may be. But I'm here to say that regardless of how dire a situation may seem, there's always opportunity and hope in the midst and coming out of it. So I'm here to say You know, I still, now my friend has officially moved out of the geographical area, but we still remain in touch and we still encourage one another. We still pray for one another and we still get a chance to serve our sphere of influence. It just looks different. We're not physically there together in serving and coaching and mentoring people, but we're doing it a bit from afar and we're checking in with each other. So although it might not be the same as it always was, it's an opportunity for people to step up and an opportunity for it to look even different than we ever envisioned, but maybe even better than we ever envisioned at the same time. So hopefully this was encouraging to you and I wanna let you in a little bit more into my heart. Thanks for listening to another episode of Getting Real with Rob. Until next time, we'll see you later, bye.